Hello everyone. We will continue the topic file handling and we will go for the topic file handling on presentation server. In the previous videos, two videos, what we did, we read that data from the file which is on presentation server. Now we will go for the topic how to write that data of how to write that data to a file on presentation server means what we will do we will take that data we will write that data to the file and file will be on presentation server or we can say on our desktop we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement with this particular example Suppose I'm saying we have this order header table in SAP. If I will go to the contents of the table, we have the order number in this table. Now daily order numbers are getting stored into this table. Now what customer is saying, I want a program whenever I will run that program whatever the order numbers are available in that table i want that data onto my desktop or i'll say on my presentation server i'll just repeat the requirement but the requirement is there is a order header table whatever the order numbers are available in that table Customer want those order number on the presentation server or you can say on the desktop itself. So what we will do, we will fetch data from this table. We will write that data onto a file which is on presentation server. This is our requirement. And we all know and we already covered that part. If you want to write that data to a file or you want to transfer that data to a file which is on presentation server, we will use the function module GUI underscore download. Previously, you used GUI upload to read that data from the file which is on presentation server. Now, to write the data to the file which is on presentation server, with what data we will write order number data we will write into that file we will use the function module gui underscore download now so we will start with this particular example we will create a program which will fetch data from our order header table then we will use gui underscore download function module to transfer that data onto our desktop or onto our presentation server. So we'll start with this program. So I'll go to SC38 transaction code. We will create a program. So this is our program two for file handling. And I will give some serial number. I will click on to create button. Previous program is to read the data from the file. This program is to write the data to the file. So I will write the description. Write the data to the file on presentation server. I will choose the type as executable program. Save. I will save this as a local object. I will activate the program. I will take input for this program. Suppose input will be range of order numbers. And we all know if you want to give range, we have to take select option. So select options. I will give some name to the select option. For suppose I'm saying LV underscore O number. I will declare LV underscore O number, LV underscore O number type. I will give the data element of order number. 
I'll simply copy from that table. This is the data element of R. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. I will provide the description. Go to text element selection text order number. I will activate this. I will run the program. So input is ready. Now, based upon the input, we will fetch data from our order header table. So firstly, I will create an internal table. So for the internal table, I will create a structure first. Types begin of structure name. First column, order number suppose. Type data element of order number. I will go for order date. Type data element of order date. I will go for payment mode, type data element of payment mode. Now we will go for total amount, type data element of total amount. I will end this particular structure. I will declare internal table and work area internal table, type table of structure and work area. Structure. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now we will write a query to fetch data from order header table, select order number, order date, payment mode, total amount from our order header table. I will store into internal table, into table, internal table. Now we will give the where condition, where order number in S underscore O number. We all know we have a select option, so we have to use in. So whatever the order number you will pass based upon that, it will fetch the data of these four columns from this table and data will come into this internal table. Now, what is our target? This data, whatever the data is coming into this internal table, we need to write that data onto presentation server. Means on our desktop, we will have a file. And in that file, we will write this particular data. This data means your order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, because this is our topic. We need to write this data onto a file or on into a file on the presentation server. Now we all know we have a function module GUI download. So I will use that GUI underscore download. Enter. Now we will give the file name we will give the file name. Always, always give the full path so that it will download onto that particular path. So what I will do, I will simply, simply create a file onto our presentation server. Suppose I'm saying name of the file will be, suppose I'm saying order. In this particular file, our data will transfer. So now please, please give the full path. So how you can check the full path? You can go to properties. This is the full path, full path. So you can simply copy. And what is the name of the file you gave? Order. And it will be a text file. 
order.txt. Yes, order.txt. Now we will go for next thing. Now, whenever you will download that data, do you want a separator between the columns? Yes, we want a separator between the columns. If you remember, while reading the data also, we enable the field separator because we have the tab between the columns. Same way here also. Do you want a field separator? Yes, we want the field separator X. X means tab will be enabled. You can simply check also. You can double click on to GUI download and you can see what is the meaning of right field separator column separated by tabs in case of a sky download. So we enable right field separator. Yes. And what is the data you want to download? We want to download the data of which internal table LT underscore data. And best practices, we should always, always uncomment the exceptions. So I'll check the syntax and we will activate the program. So how this program will work? It will bring data into this internal table this internal table data will download into will download at this particular path and what will be the separator between the columns yes tab will be the separator between the columns for the best understanding i will just show you in that debugging mode i'll put a breakpoint i will give the input one to five as order number suppose so we have the input one to five. It will fetch the data from this table and data will come into this internal table. And you can see we have five records in the internal table with four columns. Now this internal table data, we are writing to this particular path. And what is this path? This is our local desktop path. This is our presentation server path. And what will be the separator? Tab will be the separator. Now we are simply going for execute. And you can see 150 byte passed. So I will show you the file. This is the file. And you can see that data. This data is in our SAP. And we downloaded this data onto our presentation server or onto our desktop. You can simply see this is the data in the SAP system. We have the order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, and this data we downloaded on our presentation server or you can say on our desktop. So what is the summary of that topic? You have to use GUI download function module if you want to write that data to a file on the presentation server. So that's it in this video. Thank you.